I say welcome. My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should, because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, doctor. 
You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So well done. I guess. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing, your reputation. Your rep, quote unquote, keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. The entertainment division is taking notice of your success. As your reputation increases with them, so too does the opportunity to tackle more challenging missions. I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> about the show and with these dinosaurs we have one unlike any other on the planet theme parks rely on drawing people in and what is more attractive than new dinosaurs well me of course <laughs> yeah no what i'm saying is let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper 
Good. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. I don't know what's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities.
This is a side hustle that we should get behind. guest is what we strive to maintain here on the islands. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos, just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? Acknowledged. need to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Heading to collect the asset.
Majesty, visit our new fast food restaurant. Things are looking good around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. That is a textbook example of doing it right. Whoa! Here we go. Your rep is off 
the charts. So you're getting a reward for the entertainment division for your work on Islam Man and Saros. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors, more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. I like what I'm seeing. Let's keep it up. Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things. And the big things with the teeth and glassy eyes that could swallow them whole. Hey, way to go! We've got our park running at maximum happiness, and our guest numbers are up as a result. That's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest. We get the results, am I right? When the parks are running well, our scientific research improves. Of course, I'd never tell this to Isaac directly. Heard it. I, I was going to add... Th no. No. No, 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 no. Too late. Heard it. Later, Doc. Ugh. So you've got dinosaurs your guests want to get up close and personal with? The thing is, they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep visitors the right side of the safety glass.
Like us, different dinosaurs require different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder in an enclosure. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> put on a show. That's what I call star power. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. to Triceratops. Might be cute now, but that's only gonna last for about a week. So apparently you've hit your dinosaur count targets. That's good for you and good for the science division. So good for you. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous. And I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later.
Don't look at this as extra work. Look at it as extra money and experience. You got a knack for solving problems. That's a valuable skill, especially around here. Let's not argue over the small stuff. Looking at the big picture, this is a solid contract. I'd strongly suggest you consider taking this contract. position.
dinosaur, the Edmontosaurus, was originally uncovered at a site in Canada. I'll let you guess where. The T-Rex thinks these are delicious. And who's to argue? That's what I like about you. You get results. We can always use a few more resources. Here's our chance to earn some. What can I say? You did good. here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Feeder supplies inbound.
like to feel secure. That's our job. This contract enhances our ability to do so. Están conduciendo, parque en el carro y pongan a bajar. Great shot, kid. I was one in a million. That's one too. Bottom line, I couldn't have done it any better. Thanks. Without exceptional security, nothing else here would be possible. That's our mandate. And on Islamat and Sierras, you're showing the rest of us how it's done. You're deserving of this reward.
Oh my gosh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. It's time to treat it. Or what comes next, that's gonna be on your hands as well. Confirmed. Always a pleasure to work with you. I'm not going to argue against increasing revenue. I guess that would be purely idealistic. But raise this money responsibly, because it may get spent a whole other way.
I see. This time, a ceratosaurus. There are distinctive spines that run down its back, and a bladed horn on its head. <laughs> Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone. Or in a group. Just saw how you completed that contract. One word. Nice. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs.
A contract just landed on my desk. You need to take a look. Resupply request acknowledged. Job. I feel like we are starting to understand one another. Standing, 
That's job done. En route to top up feeder. The security division owes you one. Adding task. And now we reach the inevitable. Life begets death. But here's the question that you gotta ask yourself. Was this avoidable? The answer? Of course not. Death, it's always coming. But could you have delayed it? Well, that's maybe another story. Done it. We are on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your help, obviously. That goes without saying. But under my direction. I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. I've witnessed Dr. Dua flail and fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I have not? Dragon King, the Draco Rex. Sounds so intimidating, but it's just a plant eater. However, just in case they do rule the Earth again, don't tell them I said that. Asset collection request received.
asset has been collected. Something's come up that could be interesting and profitable. We've some work you might be interested in. Responding to resupply request. We can always solve a few more problems, so make sure to review this contract.
The numbers are looking great. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm gonna need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Okay, next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. Ah, the Huayangasaurus. Another member of the Stegosaurians.
There is a new job available, and I know just the person to do it. En route to feeder. Understood. Right. This next bit is gonna sound a little crazy because, frankly, it is. But we are gonna encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. You have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor. I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full.
Acknowledging asset collection request. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for improvements during our recent handling of anomalous events. Asset being transported. Transportation complete. That the job finished. True and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. Yes, we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first. Us, or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence. Responsible management of our animals is key, as is creating a safe environment for our visitors.
knocked that one out of the park. I know you're busy, but this opportunity is just too good to pass up. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Take this contract. It's a good one for both of us. Won't forget it. No matter what anyone else says, science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. And that's worth a reward. <laughs> Yes, Site C, more commonly known as Isla Muerta. A newly developed island, the name roughly translated, and I do mean roughly, the island of the dead. Fitting, humorous even. I wasn't sure about this one, but you delivered. Victims of the 
to a point for dig site selection as 